Hey everybody, Marcus here, and I am going to show you today how you can use Google Forms to make self-correcting assessments in Seesaw. Uh, that might sound a little bit too good to be true. One of the big drawbacks of Seesaw is that you have to go through and manually grade everything that the kids give you, which can be quite tedious and time consuming. You might be missing Google Classrooms right now where you could actually make a quiz that would grade itself and then immediately give you the results. Um, if you know how to do that, this is a video for you. If you have never made a Google Form quiz before, you're going to need to learn how to do that first. You're welcome to watch the video, but there's a big chunk of information that you're missing, which is how do I make a quiz on Google Forms? But we're going to assume for the moment that last year, I made this awesome quiz about area and perimeter. Check it out, area and perimeter. I've got all this good stuff. It is exactly what I want my kids to be doing this year. But in Seesaw, there's not an equivalent tool that allows me to make a multiple choice quiz. So what I'll do is go ahead and click on send and grab this link right here. I'm gonna command C that, control C that if you're on Windows, and then pop over here to my classroom in Seesaw. In Seesaw, I'm going to add a new activity and we'll assign the activity and we're going to create a new one and we're going to call this perimeter lesson. I'm going to get some instructions here. Okay, got my instructions typed in. I'm now going to add my multimedia example and just to save time, I actually already recorded that. I've got it right here. It is the perimeter movie. So I'm going to attach that for my instruction and hit save. All right, now that my instructional component's been attached, I'm going to add a student template for their response and I'm going to choose link. Now you're going to watch this and say, well, Marcus, that's not going to work, but it will. So I go ahead and paste in that link, hit the check mark, and you say, well, that's really dumb. It just gave me this. Um, you know, I don't want the kids drawing on it. I don't want that. I want them to go to Google Forms. And so the button that they will need is right down here, right there. Okay, they need to grab that button. So I need to give them some instructions on that. Okay, sounds good. And I might even draw a little arrow, make it red, point it over there towards the bottom left corner so the kids can see it. Go ahead and hit save. Okay, I now have a new activity. I'm gonna save this activity and I'll assign this to some kids and then let's flip over to the iPad and see what it looks like from their point of view. Okay, so here we are on the iPad and I'm going to go to the Seesaw app. And I'm currently logged in as James Kirk, who is one of Mr. Mead's star students. And I see there's a new perimeter lesson. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a video. Let's watch. Hey, kids, it's Mr. Mead. What I need you to know is when you're calculating. That was an awesome video. And now I'm ready to do my response. So I click down here on my name. And it says, click on the chain link button in the bottom left corner. And if I look right here, I can see it it'll automatically flip me over into the browser where I can choose my Google account if I've logged in before, or if I haven't logged in before, kids will need to know what their at mcbain.org username and password are to finish the activity. So I'm gonna click on James Kirk and type in my password. Say next. And I now am logged in as myself, ready to take the quiz. Let's choose some answers. And then when we're done, we go ahead and hit submit. You'll notice that James immediately gets feedback and can see that he scored an unfortunate 2 out of 18, but at least he knows what he got wrong. Now let's switch back to the teacher side and see what I'll see in mind. Okay, we're back on the MacBook here, and I'm at my Seesaw, and I can now click over on the Area and Perimeter Quiz tab. Lo and behold, I have got my first response. It is, in fact, James, and of course, if other kids have taken it, it would give me a huge vast amount of information on how the kids did on the individual questions and also just a score sheet so I can quickly transfer that to PowerSchool. So if you're looking for a quick and easy way to get formative data in real time instead of having to correct it yourself, this could really come in handy if you know how to use Google Forms. If you don't know how to use Google Forms yet to make a quiz, go ahead and shoot me an email and I will make a video for that as well. And I hope that you find this helpful. Thanks, Ramblers. Have a great one. Pretty cool things, but the seesaw is for me. So if there's a part from dawn till dark, you can bet that's where I.